start recording. Perfect. So if we're looking on the hourly time frame, that's what I wanted to do first. I, I mean, eventually we simply could have end up, ended up holding our trade. To keep it simple, our London session trade, that's really rare, really, really rare. But hourly analysis, we're already with the new candle below the 50% level of our previous weekly range on Tuesday. So we had this fake out on Monday. We caught long. Afterwards, the short happened during the PM session, consolidated during Asia, had that fake out move pre-London Open, and with the London Open, we started selling off. We already hit plenty of sell side liquidity. Right here, right here, right here. Can get rid of most of this. Where are we at? This is the final manipulation. So the, basically this entire move to the upside that we caught yesterday. Move to the upside as manipulation, final manipulation. We so far reached two and a half standard deviations. Uh, final sell side liquidity targets would really be those equal loss right here at 4954 and at 4937. Right here. And we can see how that previous week's slope perfectly lines up with this new day opening gap right here on Tuesday. If we go to the higher time frame, even we can see that we didn't just pass the first bullish fair value gap here on the daily, we also already passed the second bullish fair value gap. And both these bullish fair value gaps have been created last week. To show you the extent of how bearish this is right now. Straight movement to the downside, no up and down, up and down, like we got, got it last time during the... CPI news event. I think this could also just continue to collapse. It's a tough one. Let's see. So we hit sell side. What sell side is this? In a disc on the short term low right here. Now we have the set of equal lows right here at 55, 55 and at 45, uh, 54 and a quarter. One minute time frame. Post 8.30 a.m. Continuation lower. So first that candle. Almost no victory upside. Continued lower. Took sell side liquidity. Two pushes to the upside. Close below this bullish value gap. Right inside a old new week opening gap. Closing back below it, retracing into the inefficiency, continuing lower though. Yeah. Interesting. Did anyone see who's in here? Simo, Kryptonut, RM. Did you end up trading? 8.30 news candle. Yeah, I mean, right after the news event, from here on, we basically dropped another 20 points already. Looking at where price is at right now. We tapped the 8.30 bearish share value gap here on the five minute time frame with this week, but that's all we've got so far. Like I said, next target to the downside, 54.25 and 37, uh, 38.4938 previous week's low already did live at on Tuesday are there any questions about okay well I'll find a manipulation above the previous week's high dump back inside of the range during the PM session Asia consolidation London manipulation go sideways right here at this high and then 
reverse back down. Where did we react and recheck from? At the CPI news candle, we retrace back to the VWAP right here. And we smack lower. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's take a look at NQ. So while AS is forming lower lows here, starting from 930. So right here, 930. All that AS is doing right now is pushing lower compared to NQ. 930 right here, the low is pushing higher. You see that? 930 opens up, it starts to push higher. This is our 8.30 a.m. fair value gap right here. Oh, that's a straight line. Getting better at that. Our um, London live stream turtle soup we talked about. And also our previous week's low down here. We already hit plenty of sell side. But that next proper target right here would be 17554. Interesting. So we already have a divergence between S and Q. So right here, 930 open. We have a initial SMT divergence right here. And from here, all these lower lows, basically. Continuation short after NQ. But we also have to keep in mind here, realistically speaking, that prior to the 9.30 open, we successfully, hang on, that's our new week opening gap. So from our London session high to our 9.30 low, already moved 70 points. So let's get rid of this hourly and leave the five minute on here. Da, 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 da. What did I want to do? Turn on standard deviations here. Yes, daily standard deviation color show history. So let's see where those end up. One and a half to two and a half three for the daily standard deviations. This morning we just made it above the open. 0 0.5, one, one and a half. Let's take a look at how that looked yesterday. Zero point five, almost zero point five. Wednesday was zero point five one. Well, we haven't had such a large range in a pretty long time, I'd say. Last time would have been right over here. Mm, standard deviations, our gaps. Well, to be honest, right now, fellas, I don't see anything that's interesting to me. I mean, we spotted the SMT divergence, lower lows until 9.30, 9.30 forming that final low. And from here on, all we did was form higher lows. While on ES, we actually started to form lower lows.
so I'm going to be waiting. Well, I really anticipated to get some more volatility, guys, to be honest, especially at 10 a.m. Let me in Q five minute time frame. Let's check out the one minute. Trace on the t uh, yeah, OK, wick low at the 930 opening. market structure shift right here bullish uh, value gap and continued higher but never really made it into a significant sell side liquidity pool now that turtle soup right here would have been quite a short successful 373 points Since 9.30, we also didn't leave a five minute bullish bearish value gap. So hard for me to frame stuff to keep on forming these lower lows and lower highs right here. Mm, 9.30 opened up. We continued higher, managed to take one short term high bearish value gap right here. I don't know. You wouldn't know it's 9.30 if you wouldn't check the time, say it like that, compared to yesterday. But, I mean, okay, after this kind of a CPI news candle, we did the perfect analysis, though, this morning. Not sure if you guys checked that out right here over inside the trade idea section. Let me zoom in here quickly. I looked at the daily time frame, looked at potential areas where price could reject today to deliver into this daily bullish and this daily bullish share value gap. And I outlined the previous day consequent encouragement of this wick, not of the entire daily candle and of the wick. Just looking at that daily wick CE. We have the new week opening gap right there. Then I dropped it down to the four hour time frame. And on the four hour, we could even identify a change in the state of delivery. We close below a short term low with a higher low to the left and a higher low to the right. So we close below that. We left behind a four hour time frame inefficiency. This is our all time high, this green line. We have sell side right below here. Then looking at the one hour time frame, also that same market structure shift. One hour fair value gaps, previous week's high. Mm. New day opening gap, our inversion fair value gap, and we never really made it further up than this one hour inversion fair value gap. I pointed out this unfilled volume imbalance and my main target for today. Well, I don't know. I'd say I created this analysis with, um, we can go over to the daily time frame now. Check the charts this morning and yeah, it all kind of, look like that's gonna happen of course i did not anticipate well if we look at the four hour time frame for example i mean sort of anticipated the slow to be run we saw that four hour bearish value gap we've hit that and that very next candle at 2 a.m continued lower hang on 2 a.m oh yeah 2 a.m then at 6 a.m we push through those both of those bullish share value gaps next sell side liquidity pool would be one of those higher lows right here this might be the beginning of the february retracement and therefore what would be interesting is to know where that 50 percent level is coming in at we have formed a potential high mm -mm -mm -mm, pd array right here so 
immediately in my eyes go to the sell side liquidity pool the first and pretty much only sell side liquidity pool in discount of our 2024 range this is not just the february range this is the 2024 range if we look at the january range 29 30th that's the first of february right here that's our january range so we are almost back to previous month's highs from here on we retraced below equal sell side liquidity but not in a discount continued higher to take out these two equal highs remember that right here and then from here on using bullish share value gaps to keep on delivering so now this is our january range this is our 2024 range but i'm more interested in that february range so right here we just hit that 50 percent of our entire monthly range so this could be interesting and that's how i do I do my higher time frame pd array analysis and stuff where's the 50 percent then that consequent encouragement in terms of yeah monthly range weekly range yeah, and yearly range especially if we just started the new year i think i also looked at the where's the daily analysis no weekly analysis no hourly analysis yeah that's our monthly vbop or our yearly vbop starting out on the first of jan just coming in right here at the february low well knowing that It's a little bit more interesting in my eyes let me first of five minute get rid of that just having hit february 50 percent First day, 29, Friday, 1st of March, right here. So this is the end of the month. This is the consequent encouragement of the current monthly candle. And this is our high. And we're starting to see on the four hour, we're starting to get a bounce. Same thing goes on in Q. So let's actually check that out. Knowing what we know on the higher time frame. One hour time frame is also starting to push. Once we cleared that 50% level, we know that there's small sell side below us simply by taking a look at the hourly analysis. Whoa. Um, too many PD arrays almost on the chart now. So let me put this. into a new folder and hide it quickly and drop it back down to the five minute time frame so still that same smt divergence those slower lows starting from 9 30. Check out the one minute time frame. I'm still hesitant to go along here, to be really honest. But this would be considered our breaker block. We already retested the breaker block here, actually. Potential target would be this high to reach into the hourly fair value gap. So this was our short now in hindsight. Could have kept on holding, but already happy with that 3 to 1 risk to reward. 
can't get much better than that. If you ask me, let's zoom out. And zoom back in, open up trading view. And we're getting that push now. We know also why. Look, looking at the one minute time frame, market structure shift right here. Retesting that breaker block. So right here, lower low, lower high, lower low with SMT divergence between those two lows. So this is our SMT divergence. Retest the breaker block and continue higher into our hourly inefficiency right here, which is located above this high. Looking at the five minute time frame, we don't see any clues at this point in time. So this is only one minute time frame stuff breaker block and whatnot five minute time frame so we're gonna leave that on here inside the one minute folder if we miss it we miss it that's okay nq is pushing inside of the 835 value gap right now well this would be the five minute market structure shift level but at this point in time, we would already be super close to the VWAP, retracing into the five minute bearish share value gap right up in here. So this short term high would be my, so uh, this would be my first target right here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not really buy side, just a short term high. Yeah, I guess I was um, busy doing a higher time frame analysis at this point in time. Otherwise, I might have caught that one minute setup, but it's okay. Just keep on expanding. Let's see from here, once we get the market structure shift, that's an eight and a half point move to the upside. Potential risk to the downside would be 20. Ah, interesting. So a large point range in terms of yeah, dollar movement right here, entry on the breaker block, six and a half point risk and 13 point profit target. So that's pretty nice. We close above shift market structure, leave the breaker block behind, getting in on the breaker block, targeting this high, unfortunately missed, but Uh, where's that coming in at? That's our five minute high. So now I'd be curious to see if that one minute fair value gap ends up being used as support. Look out paper trading and see if we can get in on the MFFU. I'm taking a few trades on that one to play with it a little. 
five minute time frame. Still one minute to go before we get a definitive close. We tested, but we didn't really retrace into the fair value gap. So what I'm looking at here is see if we can catch a short a continuation long. Stop loss four points. Target up here. Something like that. Just using that highest bullish fair value gap here, really. And also the only bullish fair value gap. We tapped it, but we didn't retrace into it. We didn't wick into it. And Q's pushing here. Let me mark up that 50% level of the fair value gap. Our liquidity void, basically. Right here. A five minute time frame open up with a bullish volume imbalance. But like I said, I would prefer a different entry right here. That, in terms of risk to reward, if we get in right up here, stop loss at the low, but I would be looking for a simple one to one max 20 points back inside of the range. Something like this here, based on the five minute time frame. On the one minute, I would look for that first retracement, ideally into a fair value gap. Now we open up with a bullish volume imbalance. Yeah, and Q is going for it here. Yes, it's lagging behind, that's for sure. Then he won't catch the one minute time frame long. Let's check that out. Go over to the chat. Simo, RM, did anyone catch the long? Just paper trading with NQ, trying out a new system. Nice, that's interesting. What kind of new system? ICT based or not ICT? Okay, interesting. Indicator based? Uh, just positions with regards of a salon and range. Interesting. All right, so we hit this bullish fair value gap. Don't like that we immediately close below the 50% right here. This would also wouldn't be a inversion fair value gap just yet. If we look at it, we never actually closed above it. We gapped above it, but we closed back inside of it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't have to be ICT related, I mean. Ooh. Whatever works, works, right? Whatever we feel confi confident taking or yeah, trading with. Pump 
holding seemingly holding support on that highest bullish value gap Retraced, then leave behind a fair value gap of any kind just yet on the five minute time frame. Still waiting for that. 10.25, now it's 10.30, half hour mark. Remember, remember what we said about that timing window. New five minute candle opened up and this time we closed on this bullish volume imbalance. Didn't open with a new one though. This is, those are both our five minute time frame bullish fair value gaps. So just lining them up. This is our one minute time frame. Fair value gaps overlapping with the five minute time frame fair value gaps. Our initial breaker block and our highest bearish fair value gap right here. Mm, 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 mm. No, actually, we have a bearish fair value gap just above that too. Didn't see that. Going to be looking for a long of this one slash five minute bullish fair value gap right here for a simple 1.4 versus reward into the short term high if I can get it. Doing the same here on the MFFU challenge. 
keep an eye on it on the one minute time frame because so far we're still let me put that over here to the right we're still respecting that highest bullish fair value gap we might not be getting the retracement after all before we hit this buy side liquidity pool seven eight well, might not be getting that retracement like said i'm going to be sticking to what i see on a five minute time frame that makes it easier for me we looked at the one minute time frame let's see if we get our market structure shift in queue above the 50 percent of the range new five minute candle here on es Well, my entry is placed roughly at the 50% of this highest bullish fair value gap right now. We don't have the confirmation for a market structure shift. We don't have any bearish fair value gaps other than our liquidity void right here at 830. We're getting closer and closer to the VWAP. NQ, I think, should have already made it past the VWAP. I mean, this could also be considered uh, SMT divergence. If we're being honest, he has not following NQ at all here not trying to chase something yeah that's the viva we just pushed through it as if it's not even there let's see what kind of difference it would make if i leave my stop at that same place and place place my limit right here in terms of risk to reward if I just go for a simple one to one yeah I like that more get rid of the lines delete that order Here's our fair value gap. That's my main target for a 1% move to the upside. We have our two bullish fair value gaps. If we already, good morning, H. Smith, if we start to invalidate that first one, if we do not hold support in that next one, I'm getting out before my stop loss is getting hit right here. My stop loss right now is the lowest body close on the one minute time frame, which ends up being, yeah. 50% of this wick right here. So this is my stop loss. This is my five minute time frame entry. Even before the market structure shift, post market structure shift. Yeah, well, things would look different, I'd say. One minute time frame. Let's see what we're working with. So we retested the inversion fair value gap now so bearish fair value gap we close above we retested it mm. not giving us an easy time to enter into the trade well let's see here on the mffu account i'm not going to do that but on the paper trading account, I will. Okay, there goes buy side. Nice run of our final manipulation here on the one minute time frame. So we just cleared that, wicked above. Standard deviations ICT on the one minute time frame. This is our last lower low, uh, lower high, lower low move here to the downside. We hit two standard deviations now. We would anticipate, yeah, a run up into four standard deviations. Depending on how we close here on the five minute time frame, we could also view. This is our final manipulation. And then four standard deviations would bring us back all the way up into yesterday's high.
that would be quite the swing trade, right? <laughs> And Cure is already starting to form something like that. It's going to be interesting. See if we close above this 8.30, one hour time frame. This is our one hour time frame bearish fair value gap here at 8 a.m. The market structure shift. Hang on, that was our trade yesterday. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore today. In terms of manipulation, I would measure this move. We reached our max area. We left behind sell side liquidity. So that's the only issue I see for a potential reversal from here. Let's look at February's range, 1st of Feb, 31st of Jan. So this would be our February range. PDRA, we didn't sweep sell side below the 50%. Well, right here we did, I guess. The short term low. Mm. January range and 2024 range measured from the low all the way to the high. Oh, that's almost too perfect. So this is our hourly bearish fair value gap. We can see that we are still pushing through all of it. We haven't seen a retracement basically since 10.15. So 10.15, 10.30, 10.45 now. So that's our last 15-minute candle if we look at the 15-minute time frame. Before we go over into 11 a.m., looking at the one-minute time frame, yeah, still kind of consolidating here. Didn't close above buy side just yet. Keep in mind, we just tapped our hourly bearish fair value gap right here above this short term high. Very rough idea of what we want to see. Not sure if we're going to get our fill. We have SMT divergence. We have a potential 2022 model, but I would prefer a entry on discounts right here. One of those two bullish fair value gaps, stop loss right here to 50% of this week low. Target, just a plain and simple one to one risk to reward, or a little bit better than a one to one risk to reward into the short term high. Yep, that's what I would be looking for, really. If we move into that first, I'm not interested in that trade setup anymore. Our highest up closing candle in terms of breaker block would be right here on the five minute time frame. So this would end up being our breaker block. On the one minute time frame where well, we already discussed it, those three up closing candles were our breaker block. We came back to retest it and continue to deliver higher. Right now, we cleared buy side, but we fail to really go higher. That's usually when we get, that's it's usually the beginning of the retracement. Let's see, let's see. If we just look at the body of this bullish candle, this could be our breaker block. Yeah, let's see. Take a look at NASDAQ. Okay, the stream is running smoothly. Just wanted to make sure. Florida is red, Mark Florida is red.
of our daily range measured from our sweep right here to the low we also hit the 50 percent yon in queue so this might be a solid area for price to recheck from and retrace see if we're gonna hold support on one of those fair value gaps we left behind or just smack down lower i might end up trading just the pm session we will see i give it one percent risk just for a simple one-to-one -one. we'll see how it goes if we even get the retracement and if it ends up just being a retracement the higher we push above this high without seeing a first retracement the less i'm interested in actually going long on this first bullish value gap on the five minute time frame right here at 10 25 10 30 hmm. now starting to look a If it fails to continue higher after taking buy side and it's just going sideways here, barcoding, that's usually your confirmation for the reversal. We also didn't close above this high yet, so theoretically it's not a market structure shift just yet. It's 10.50, so we're also between the 10.50 and 11.10 macro timing for our time frame. Next for our camera is going to happen in three hours so right at the beginning of the pm session at 2 pm or middle of the pm session two inversion fair value gaps on the four hour time frame one hour time frame just having hit that buy side but given that we didn't take out all the self side i really wouldn't look for the full-on reversal that's why I I'm honestly just looking for the scalp off the fair value gap into the closest short term high. Unfortunately, missed the one minute time frame entry. That would have been nice. We did higher time frame analysis at that time, and then we saw okay, well, price shifted structure down here. Our final manipulation paired with SMT divergence, we retest our breaker block, this highest up closing candle on this pin bar candle, continue higher. Then the higher never retraced into this bullish value gap. We've been waiting for an entry. So far, we've been holding support on that highest one minute bullish value gap. Ten fifty, ten fifty five, eleven a.m. There's only one in a trade right now. Anyone who's watching? On the S or maybe a different pair.
I wouldn't mind if I missed, already missed out on the one minute time frame setup. Gonna give it um, no trades today. Fair enough. But only as we don't really see that momentum we'd expect. Based on the momentum what we saw in NQ. Yeah, exactly. Also, this fair value gap right here. Just looking for the easiest way to catch a, yeah, five point long into a short term high or this one hour bearish fair value gap right here. For me, that would have been this one minute bullish fair value gap. I was also a little bit too slow. If I would have already had my limit order placed before we retrace the high of the fair value gap, I'm sure I would have been filled. A little pity that we missed. Well, very similar delivery to yesterday. 10 a.m. opens up. First, what do we do? We take out sell side for the first 15 minutes. So right here, 10, 15, this is a new 15 minute opening. Then we reverse, shift market structure, retrace into the breaker block. And from here on, continue in that next high. <laughs> I don't like it, Dad. That consolidation right up here paired with the new hourly opening cool we never actually shifted market structure so theoretically i would look at this as just a sweep looking at the 15 minute time frame we have a huge 15 minute fair value gap right here a fair value gap above also on the 15 no market structure shift on the 15 and on one hour, we're just rejecting of a hourly fair value gap. We have, like I said, that sell side liquidity below. If we want to continue lower, we could simply use that to continue lower. Same thing on NQ, just with a much, much higher retracement. Having filled in the majority of this one hour bearish fair value gap. And now with that new hourly candle going to reject and continue lower into that sell side. So a little 10, 11 a.m. fake out, maybe even. And the confirmation for me is that chop right once we hit buy side liquidity. And then the straight move away from it. Let's see if. I don't want to take this trade anymore. I wait for a better setup during the PM session, to be really honest. Or for a potential short. can always re-enter if I want to, but I don't get that feeling right now, to be honest. So we hit the one hour, uh, five minute bullish fair value gap. Let's see what the new hourly open does. do we think would we have gotten our fill just yet scale on scale off i don't think so yeah so now for sure we would have been filled but with the new hourly candle opening up at the same time Hmm. See you, go, uh, see you, Fady. Take care. Not in a hurry. We made 2.5% yesterday during the New York session on the New York session account. A solid 3.3 .3 risk to reward this morning on the short here on ES. Perfect textbook 2022 model. Take out buy side. Shift market structure. I got in on this volume imbalance. Also retested the breaker block right here and then secured the majority of the position right here at the midnight level and the rest got uh, hit take profit target right here on the sell side we continued lower yes i know we did this entire analysis where's the five minute right here also stream that live i already published it on youtube hit five standard deviations reversed taking out some short-term highs 
prior to the 8.30 news candle. Sorry, guys. Phone's going crazy. And then from here on, we continued lower. So now, well, I don't. I simply don't trust it. Yet. That's why I'm a little bit cautious. So a new hourly candle opens up. One hour time frame. We just tapped one hour bearish. Open up with a bullish volume imbalance. Let's see if it would have worked out. Like I said, our stop loss is all the way down here with the new hourly opening. Our target was up here. Did anyone take it? I mean, I pretty much removed that last minute. My gut feeling didn't approve, I'd say. <clears throat> well, my gut didn't approve. And Q retesting the VWAP, also inside a bullish share value gap here. Retested the 15 minute bullish. Well, we'll see if my gut feeling fooled me here. Also not the best highest risk reward option. With the new hourly opening, I'm just a little bit more careful. Especially seeing that we lost momentum here, took buy side, going sideways here for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <clears throat> and then, yeah, five minutes before the new hourly opening, movement to the downside, well, typically not the best sign. Very similar to here where we failed to continue higher. Well, fail to continue higher is usually the confirmation for the move lower. Check out the one minute time frame here. Didn't retrace into that one minute bullish value gap we wanted to get in on earlier. So since we've been holding support on this bullish, let's see if we end up holding resistance here that we close below it. Right here, holding support, we close below it. Now we're looking for resistance, potentially. It's also 11 a.m. That's usually when I end the stream. So unless there are any more questions, that's going to be it for the stream. That's also one of the reasons why I decided not to take it. I look for my entry between 9.30 and 10. I couldn't make it in time here at 9.30. <clears throat> and then we unfortunately missed the one minute setup right here. I want to make sure that yeah, my setups that I do take don't end up being yeah, chasers. Right here, market structure shift, breaker block entry. This would have been the go to entry. I think I would have catched it, but we talked about the higher time frame at this point in time where we're at. Uh, in terms of the monthly ranges, monthly PD arrays. And the only entry that made sense for the continuation would have been this bullish share value gap, but I guess I have been spooked with the stone closing candle. It's okay. Let's see how this is going to close here on the five minute time frame. If we're going to get our market structure shift confirmation now. But anyways, so. If there are any last minute questions, feel free to ask. Like I said, I got to take my dog for a walk. Usually I stop trading at 5 p.m., which is 11 a.m. New York local time. So, yeah, guys, let me know. Otherwise, I will be back tomorrow for a London session tape read. 
maybe a live stream like this morning already uploaded the recording to YouTube. Maybe gonna, well, if I'm not trading the AM session now or didn't take any trades at all, maybe gonna look for something during the PM session. We'll see. Or it just ends up being a no trade New York session for me. Nice five minute close and open with a bullish volume imbalance. If we would have been in that trade, that's definitely what I would have liked to see. Tap the fair value gap, bullish gap open, run away from it, almost engulf this candle, open up with a bullish volume imbalance. That's perfect. What more could you be asking for? Now I would be interested to see if we get the close above the market structure shift level. Next target would be the VWAP and then our short term high right here. And I think it shouldn't have any issues running into that. Dang it. And Q retested VWAP. Yeah, gut feeling. Yeah, yeah, you son of a bitch. All right, guys. I don't see any more questions. So that's going to be it. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your trading day. Make sure to not blow up. Don't be chasing anything because you missed your entry like me right here. That's most important thing. Okay, yeah, we missed the entry down here. Right here, I wouldn't really fully sign it off yet that this is going to hold. It looks like it, but still, this doesn't mean that I'm going to jump in here now. Let's say like this, trying to get a one-to-one -one risk to reward like this. I mean, you we could, but we really shouldn't. Especially that this would be a typical chase and FOMO fear of missing out because we had a I had my limit order placed right here. My gut feeling and experience told me to mm, nah, wait for what the new hourly candle is going to do. We're still playing around inside that one hour bearish fair value gap right here. Now we have a unfilled volume imbalance down here and we always, always come back to fill these. I can show you the first example already from this morning today. One hour unfilled volume imbalance right here between one uh, midnight and 1 a.m. We pushed to the upside and this was my main target for the short here on the five minute time frame. Where are we at? Right here, that's where the volume imbalance is coming from. Move to the upside market structure shift. Took some partials here at the midnight and the previous day slow. So seeing that same thing right here with this volume imbalance. We haven't filled that in. 99% sure that we eventually, maybe later on during the PM session, going to come back into that one. Well, we will see. Like I said, don't do anything that you're going to regret later. Leave your ego behind. If you missed it, you simply missed it. If you lost something, you simply lost something. And yeah, let that sit in. Tomorrow is a new trading day. Don't be chasing. So yeah, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your session. Price is pushing off the bullish value gap. I hope maybe some of you faded me and yeah, kept the limit order alive. This would be my main partial or my target right here at the 1.3 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Maybe some of you caught it, maybe not anyway. I'm going to be taking my dog for a walk now. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your session. Bye.